Okay, there we go. Alright. Um, I'm not sure if it's right side up or not. If I'm upside down, <laughs> well, sorry. Um, but yeah, just get a Bluetooth headset. Either for your ear, which are no more than a hundred bucks. I mean, you can probably get a nice Bluetooth headset for your ear for like, you know, fifty dollars. I mean, probably. And uh, if you get a Bluetooth headset, you can. Um, if someone calls you, you just gotta reach up to your ear, bloop, and answer the call. And if the call's over, bloop. Or if you have a Bluetooth radio, you just you know use the buttons on the radio um, to start the call or end the call. And in some cases, if you have Siri or with iPhone or if you have um, uh, voice on your Windows phone, you can say, call work or call bi uh, bill. And the phone will ask you, hey, uh, which bill you want to talk to? And you say, Bill Smith. Okay, uh, dialing, and the phone will dial it for you. You don't even have to touch the, the headset, you know, uh, to make certain calls. If you're dialing a phone number, that's a different story. I would suggest if you need to dial an actual phone number because you don't have that contact on your phone, wait until you get to a stoplight, then dial the number, hit uh, send. Okay, I just had some guy that almost ran into me at a turn signal. What the fucking hell? Probably talking on the damn phone. Oh. Okay, anyway, <laughs> kind of startled me there for a minute because the guy was in the turn lane. He was about to make a left, and he was coming right at me. And I'm not sure if he was in total control of that left turn or not. But don't do that, folks. Don't start your turn making the person think you're about to run into them. Even if he had total control and he knew he wasn't going to hit me, what if I had stopped all of a sudden? And this momentum will already have been going, he would have hit me. Let's say if I had to make an immediate stop, it would have been his fault because he should have waited until I was in the clear before he made that turn. Maybe he was trying to make the turn before someone else came into the intersection, but don't do that. Life is more important than time. If you're that much in a hurry, leave earlier. Life is more important than time. Okay? And even if it's not life-threatening, I'm about to make a turn, so, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, hold on to the phone while I'm making a turn. But anyway, um, even if I didn't die in a car accident, but then I have to worry about damages to the car, insurance, uh, any type of physical injury to myself and to the person that hit me. And to anybody else that's probably involved in the accident because they're involved. You know, because uh, the car pushed me to another lane, into another car, and that's a three-car accident. And so on and so on and so on. Life is more important than time. And going through the headache of dealing with insurance companies, I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Pay attention to the road. Okay? That's all I got to say. Yeah. It also drives the damn speed limit. And if you got to go over the speed limit, no more than five miles. There's no point in doing 75 miles per hour on a 55 mile per hour highway. Look, I'm doing, okay, this speed limit on this highway is 65 miles per hour. Right now, I'm doing 70. Okay, it's five miles above. I got cars passing me up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Really? Are you that much in a hurry? This is why I, I don't go in the left lane. I stay either in the middle or the right lane. Because I don't do no more than five miles above the speed limit. If I see the speed limit went down to 50 miles per hour, I'll drop down to 55. I, I'll do no more than five miles above. And usually, not in all cases, but usually you do not get pulled over if you're doing, uh, you know, five miles above. It's only when you do like 10 miles, 15 miles, 20 miles. If you're doing 25 miles above the speed limit, 
we should get him. He should be going to jail for reckless driving. See, that's too damn fast. Because the speed limit is determined by the safety of the road. It's determined by what the road conditions are and how many uh, curves and the smoothness of the road. Okay, the conditions of the road, right? So, if the conditions of the road is correct, you can go at a higher speed. If the city knows, or the county, or the state, or the country, if they know that the roads are not that good, they have to lower the speed limit. There's no need to travel fast because you may spin off if you're going around corners too fast. There's no need to drive fast. There's no need to do any of that stuff. Like right now, I'm driving comfortably. When I went to my client, I got there comfortably because I drove the speed limit all the way because I knew I had all the time in the world because I left early. I had to be there at 12, I left there at 11, 15, and I didn't drive like a bat out of hell. I drove very smoothly. Now hold on for a second, I gotta pay attention to my lane switching here. I wish you could have saw that, but that was pretty crazy. Yeah, Okay. Oh, there's, um, see, there's an accident up here. Let me show you that. Okay, I'm picking up the phone to show you this accident. person ran up onto a center medium there. Not sure why. Maybe another car veered him off. Oh, there's another car there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it because I can't zoom in. But there you go. People not being careful. Somebody made a mistake. Somebody didn't do something right to make the other car spin off, and now they're both in the accident. And now they're, both their cars are fucked up, and both of them will have to go to the insurance company to get it, you know, to get that taken care of. And I hope no one got hurt, because to me that's more important. The uh, first thing I say is, did anybody get hurt? Did anybody die? Nope, nobody died. Okay, did anybody get hurt? No one got hurt? Beautiful. Now, are, is there any damage? Oh, lots of damage, well that's fucked up. But I'm more concerned about life and injuries. Because going through injuries is messed up too because then that affects your way of life. Like going to work, stuff like that. You know, and sometimes you know you need to go to work every day and if you get the same amount of injuries because of a car accident, you can't go to work because you gotta be in the hospital. Then you have recovery time and it's just not worth it. There are chances that you may go come out, um, you know, not be able to walk, or lose an arm, or an eyeball, or there are so many different things that can happen, okay? That's just a thing like that. You know, just people, be careful. That's all. Be careful. You notice that I kind of stop talking when I'm doing a major change, like a turn or a lane change. You know, I do stop talking just a little bit because I need to concentrate a little bit. Well, there's a reason why for that, because I want to make sure that I do everything safely. And I don't trust my rearview mirrors or my side mirrors for, for turns. This is how I usually do it. I look behind first. And then my blind spot, you have two blind spots. One, you got your rearview mirror and your side mirrors, which has blind spots. When you look to the right, there's, there's also a blind spot too. So what you gotta do is you use both. You gotta look behind you, or you know, to the right behind you. Then you also gotta look at your mirror. When you do both, you can see both areas, and you can ensure that you have a safe enough uh, passage to make a turn, okay? Now, I guess another safety tip is use both hands. 
when driving. It's better than one hand. Okay, I'm at fault for that, okay? I am um, definitely at fault for only using one hand. So, there you go. Now everyone's perfect and it's all on top my lap again. Not everyone's perfect, okay? You know, but I do try to be the best, you know, well, not the best driver, but, well, no, I'll say it like that. I do try to be the best driver I can. I may not be the best, but Okay, just drove into a parking space. All right, I'm going to sign up because my battery's about to run out. Peace out.